Congratulations, Eleanor and Philip, on your golden wedding anniversary. This is an achievement that many of us greatly admire. Compatibility helps, but let no one think that 50 years of marriage is undertaken easily. It takes the daily application of the will, mind and body, especially on the days when walking out seems by far the best solution. You two have chosen to stay married and your award is a million memories of people, places and events that you have shared together. For a few brief years, I was your neighbour. Friendship came later. I moved into Sutton Road around 1987. Previously, I had lived in the police house in Wheatchief Drive. It was challenging to be a widow with two sons and a dog. There was always so much to do. You moved in beside me around 1990. Having kind neighbours was a great blessing. I enjoyed hearing about Andrew and Rachel. Anthony and Rachel uh, soon became good friends. You, Eleanor, took on dressing them both for their school prom. They looked so lovely together on that day. You and Phil were both a steadying influence for good in Anthony's life, and I was grateful. I was particularly touched by your advice, Eleanor, to Anthony and Rachel. You explained to them that even if they were not going to become partners for life, they could still continue to be friends. And nearly 25 years on, they are indeed still good friends. I used to enjoy our chats over the garden wall or in the house. Like others in middle age, you were coping with elderly parents, teenagers, Phil's ill health and the house and garden. You were just yourself, refreshingly honest, hardworking and kind. Knowing some of your problems helped me to cope too. We'd moan a bit, put the world right, have a giggle and return to being mum. I also enjoyed the times when you were present, Phil, when we would engage in lively debate, enhanced, of course, by your uniquely dry, offbeat sense of humour. You were both very patient regarding my somewhat unruly Alsatian dog, who was on occasion quite an escape artist. I should have taken him and me to dog training classes, but didn't. Do you remember, Eleanor, when I lost my keys on South Sea Beach? I had left my coat in the car and was walking timber on the beach one lovely sunny afternoon. But I must have dropped my keys. There I am, 13 miles from home, with no purse, no keys, no coat, a locked car and a large dog. I rang you from a stranger's house. I was so glad to catch you in. You drove down to Southsea and collected me and timber. I found a spare set of uh, car keys at home and we then returned to Southsea to retrieve the car. You were so often there for me, a good neighbour and a wonderful friend. I have lived in Scotland now for 21 years, yet our friendship still holds. When I was ill, you still wrote or phoned. When I am south, we still meet up for a coffee and a chat. And when I am up here, I can still see some of your holiday photos on Facebook. I am glad, Phil, that you um, are keeping up your interest in diving. Anthony loves it too. You are a great couple and I wish you both many more happy years together. Congratulations on your golden wedding, 18th of the April. 2018. With love and best wishes from Pat.